<laughs> little volume effect there, sorry. Um, so the show started out, I was all shitty and pissy because nobody showed up today and, and I didn't know how we were going to put the show on and I was going, um, but you know, it ended up actually a really good show. Uh, Joseph ended up, like I said, calling me and, and talking to me and, and he, um, he finally got some sleep, not that he overslept, but he just slept because the man. Let's face it. To be honest, dude doesn't sleep. Doesn't sleep. Yeah, he's a machine. Three days in a row, one time, he did the show, no sleep. And, I mean, I could see we're producing the show, and I could see he's just flat out exhausted. And finally, I'm, I just look over, and I'm like, Joe, you want to go home? And he just looks at me, and he goes, yeah, with that look, like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Let's go home, dude. I'm done. I'm going to bed. And I guess last night, he did say he was going to bed, and he went to bed, like, I believe it, man. I'm a man who likes to sleep. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so. Actually, which, you know what? Sleep's good for you, so he's probably charged up now, man. He's got all sorts of shit to talk. <laughs> right, Joe? Go ahead, message me. Say, I got lots of shit to talk. <laughs> Let's see if he's typing. Let's see if he's I love these people that put these ads, like, about their stolen stuff, and they say... Just give it back, no questions asked. I know yeah, sure. that once it's given back, you're going to call the cops. That's so, like me saying, you remember when the, the kayak got stolen out in front of the house? Yeah. That's like me saying, just bring the kayak back and you won't get shot in the head, I promise. I promise. <laughs> just you in the head. <laughs> uh, call the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let me see where we're at of time. We got about 19 minutes, and I got a request um, from Mike the Mechanic to um, to uh, give somebody a call. I got a, and he wants me to call up Brooksville Bob. And and well, if you remember back, Mikey and Brooksville Bob, they had a little interaction, and, and he was trying to get his car fixed. So Mikey had recommended to me that we have Brooksville Bob call this other mechanic. To fix them, because as everyone else realizes, quick, it's there's really no working with Brooksville Bob. You just want to pass him off to the next one. Um, unfortunately, with 19 minutes to go, Bubba, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a hold of the place, uh, or actually get a hold of Brooksville Bob in time. You have to remember he's a prepper, and he's probably out there on his piece of property. Doing what preppers do, uh, Hayden. I mean, you you talked to him a few times off the air, haven't you? Um, what yeah. does he do out there? Besides oh, eat possums and kill oh, squirrels. Oh, shotguns and, gets roadkill. <laughs> roadkill. Kind of does thing. he really eat roadkill? I can just imagine. So I'll tell you what, uh, mechanic Mike. We will go ahead and make sure that Brooksville Bob gets the uh, the notice, and um, he calls up the other mechanic tomorrow or. We'll get him the the notice, and and, uh, maybe we'll get him to call up. You know, I'd love to have him come to the studio and call from here. That would be funny as hell. So that's what we'll do. We'll have him come to the studio, and we'll have him call the mechanic to try and see if he can't help Brooksville Bob, because obviously as good of a mechanic as Mikey is, I don't think anybody knows what a 1940-something Dodge... Mercury Sable, whatever kind of car he had. He had like four different cars. But um, yeah, Joseph is ready to talk some shit. He is charged up, got all the sleep, the rest he needs. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a good show. I'll be on the phone with you guys calling in. Um, can you reach this? Huh? Hold on. Let me open that. Um. <clears throat> It says, <clears throat> "Go ahead." And, and it's a quote from Stephen Malino. Stefan Malino, my bad. Go ahead. Um, if you are for gun control, then you are not against guns, because the guns will be needed to disarm people. So it's not that you are anti-gun. You'll need the police guns to take away other people's guns. So you're very pro-gun. You just believe that the on- only the government, which is of course so re- reliable, honest, moral, and virtuous. <laughs> Should be allowed to have guns. There is no such thing as gun control. There is only centralizing gun ownership in the hands of a small political elite and their minions. That's powerful. 
powerfully true. Yeah. Thank you, Joseph. Um, with uh, 16 minutes left, I'd like to thank Michael Minardi for all of his support always. Minardi Law. Uh, you guys want to hit up Michael Minardi and, and, you know, you get yourself in a situation and you need representation for criminal. Um, they do more than criminal, too. That's the beauty of uh, Minardi Law. Uh, if you get yourself in a business situation and you need guidance, legal guidance, um, he does that. Um, with Amendment 2 coming up and you want to get into the cannabis industry, he's an advisor there. Um, so very, very well-versed lawyer, um, very powerful man as far as his words, his demeanor, and um, his beliefs. And if you want to contact Minority Law, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, Minority Law is located at 300 Colorado Avenue, Suite 210, Stewart, Florida, 34994. And if you want to go ahead and give them a call and schedule a free consultation for any one of your needs, uh, whether it be criminal or, or um, you know, you, you need to be represented in, in a uh, negligence case or, you know, um, you know, constitutional battles, anything you need. I mean, he's 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 got a, a full uh, full line of services that they they take care of. And that phone number is seven seven two four six three six five seven one. Again, Minority Law seven seven two four six three six five seven one. And um, Min uh, Michael Minardi's famous words and how I like to say it is that he takes pride in helping you tip the scales of justice in your favor so uh, you know before you get yourself into a situation after during whatever the case may be if you're not happy with present legal representation go ahead and give minority law a call you got any shout outs hey not at this moment I don't no unless people start paying me and then we'll give them shout outs. Yeah, no, I know, and that's why we give all the shout outs to Minority Law because he is our um sole sponsor and that brings Correct. us Yep, that brings us to um anybody out there that's looking to get some uh some new customers based out in the Tampa Bay area for those listeners that are in Tampa Bay. Um go ahead and give us a call. You know, we'd love to uh get your your name out there and and don't forget you know we're in five cities across the nation and hayden what cities are we in we're in lancaster pennsylvania milwaukee wisconsin what's that i can't hear you milwaukee wisconsin <laughs> we are in las vegas nevada boulder colorado macon georgia and of course tampa bay absolutely absolutely so i mean if you know you want to just put your lips or your mind around this and <laughs> and think about 20,000 listeners in just the Tampa Bay area alone not including iHeartRadio, iTunes and our own Spreaker account, our own Facebook account. So, yeah, you got quite a bit of audience that'll be hearing your business. Oh yeah. Joseph would like to give a shout out to our future sponsors, whoever that may be. There you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> laughing my ass <laughs> off he says um hey listen you know joseph if you want to call in real quick and chime in uh we we still got time go ahead and hit us up we got a uh, few minutes left so yeah we're gonna try and get joseph on the phone here and so he can we'll, we'll let joseph close the show for you folks we got a we got a good show give you his four cents you know what i, I gotta say i was real nervous this morning you know what i mean um, the reason that the show went on pause was because i couldn't find anybody that would come in here and do the show with me because three hours is not an easy spot to no, fill it's not. um as the show went today it went along pretty good and there we go here we go so we're gonna bring joseph on the line and uh we're gonna let joseph give his little morning deal and, and close out the show joseph you're on the air buddy how are you sir turn your radio down bro You, uh, Joseph, Joseph, yeah. my friend. We can currently hear ourselves being played back. It's pretty interesting, i got to tell you. Yeah, hold on, i got to kill the sound. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I've been saying that for like five minutes now. <laughs> yeah. All right, I killed the sound. Um, I'm going, you, Joseph, my friend, do you hear me? <laughs> yeah, you know what I thought that was? I thought it was the... Uh like those those playbacks or we call so like when you call Hayden's phone and started singing that song. Oh yeah, yeah. That's funny. Like I, I thought it was like your 
uh, this is Talk Shit Live, and we're on the radio. Please hold until somebody can answer your call. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me ideas, though, Joseph. How you doing this morning? You feel better? You got some sleep, bro? We, we were commenting about how you, when you say you need to get some sleep or you didn't sleep or something like that to where, you know, some people say, oh, I didn't sleep last night. They get, like, four or five hours. When you say you don't sleep, you literally don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. People, people tend to not believe what I'm saying. But when I say I'm going to sleep, it means it's over. Yeah, you, you know? did say that <laughs> yesterday. You did say that yesterday before you left the studio. You, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't even realize. I, yeah, honestly, I'll be honest with you, bro. At first, this morning, at first, I thought the worst. I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm like, oh, my God, this is not like him. You know, he's usually calling me, waking me up, going, yo, you up? <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. I, I fell out. That's good, though. You'll be nice and refreshed and ready to do tomorrow's show. Like I said, I'll be calling in. And, uh, yeah, if he we'll, sleeps we'll do this tonight. Show. Yeah, if you go yeah. to sleep tonight, <laughs> right. No, I ain't going to sleep. I'm a mess, man. You got yeah. to put a treadmill in front of my seat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got tons of energy. Good deal, good deal, brother. Well, I appreciate you calling in the last few minutes of the show. Hey. I got to tell you that. Well, go ahead. What do you got to shout out about, bro? No, I just pulled up one of these, you know, images, and I don't know if it's real or not. That's why, that's why I put it up for you guys to see. Are oh, you put it on the Facebook? Hall of Fame. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, I'll put it on there later. This right. Stalin took guns away from his citizens in 1929, then murdered 20 million of them once defenseless. Nice. Some guy named Pot. There's a guy named Pot. Anyway, he took guns away from his citizens in 1956, then murdered 2 million of them once defenseless. Hitler took guns away from his citizens in 1938, then murdered 13 million of them once defenseless. Mao took guns away from his citizens in 1935, then murdered 20 million of them once defenseless. So there you go. Listen to that. So as far as the government wanting to disarm us, <laughs> there you go. And I know I didn't get to chime in. I personally think everybody should have a gun. It doesn't have to be a giant assault rifle or whatever, but I think everybody should have a way to defend themselves. Everybody should have the right. To, to own a gun to defend himself. Yeah. I agree Not with you 100%. All right. You should get like a ticket in the mail that says, this, it's your right and here's your free gun. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, you're going to spend money and giving, I don't know, who are we giving guns to now? We're giving guns to somebody. Give us uh, some damn guns. Hayden, you mentioned it the other day. We're, we're arming the Turk, the, the Kurds, right? The Kurds. The Kurds. Yeah, the Turks. The Turks. You know we're arming the Turks. Arm these Turks. You know? Right. Um, Mike the Mechanic just chimed in. He goes, uh, remember what dads dads used to say, dog days are coming. <laughs> yeah, but his dad was a animal lover. <laughs> <laughs> his dad went through some serious shit in Hungary, um, in Hungary, in Hungary um, against the Germans. I remember talking to him. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just playing. No, I know. I was are. just making a point. I was just making a point about his dad. That's all. He knows okay. we're playing too. Shit, if his dad was still alive, he'd be one of my best hosts to sit here and talk shit all day. And I'm, I just wanted to be clear because I don't have a gun. So they took my same right with away. Me. Same with me, buddy. <laughs> same with me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, tomorrow, I want you guys to, to, you know, look a little at the border patrols and, and get into how our borders are not being protected that much, you know what I mean? So hey, we'll make that, that brings the basis. me to a point. Okay. You know how easy it is to get a felony, right? Oh, yeah. And then you can't have a gun, and then you can't vote. Right. Slowly. Well, when we have the, the largest prison system in the world... Remember, it was 5% of the world's population yep. and 25% of the world's population in prison. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the most people in prison. So, oh, so absolutely. Every, somebody you know has got a felony, and we're the ones that fight against. Of course we're going to have felonies. So shouldn't we have the right to vote? Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. We should have the right to vote, most certainly. I, I don't think it should be taken away. No. I, I mean, not, not that most people want to vote. Because it's kind of pointless, it feels like at this time. Yeah, right. But but to have it taken, and who's going to stand up for the felons to give them the right to vote back? Uh, that's tough, buddy. You know? What's, what's, what's going to happen, though? Everybody's going to get a little ticket here. You know, right now a speeding ticket is just a, a ticket, then it's a misdemeanor, yeah. and then it's a felony. 
Well, that's that's my.